these handouts. Raise your hand if you don't. Uh, this is going to be our agenda tonight. Uh, let me introduce myself to those of you who know me. Don't know me. Um, I'm an estate planner. I work with attorneys like Bob Beekner and uh, CPAs like Candy Peace and so forth. Okay. And uh, my job is to help people get their affairs in order. I did, I did uh, write a book called Get Your Affairs in Order. It talks about the legal and the financial aspects of doing so. And tonight we're just going to cover what happens when you don't and when you do. Um, my uh, counterpart tonight is Bob Beekner. Uh, everybody got one of his books, his compliments of Bob. In the back, to give you a little background, Bob is uh, part of a, a group he co-founded, Beaker, Paper, Myers and Katie out of Cincinnati. Uh, he is in charge of a, a number of board of directors, uh, charge of chairman of the tax section of Cincinnati Bar Association, as well as an entrepreneur and a venture capitalist. And uh, we're, we're glad to have him here. And he's going to talk about the legal aspects. Talk about the legal aspects. And I'm going to talk about the financial. Uh, first, I'd like to review each one of the pages, what they have here. The first page talks about the agenda. The second page talks about the differences between trusts and wills. And Bob will go into more detail on that. The next page is a page indicating those who did not have their affairs in order. People, celebrities that you know and heard of, how much they lost because they didn't do something right. They had a will or was contested and so forth. So uh, we'll cover that a little bit in detail later. Estate planning, what do they do? They basically help you try to get everything together. And so uh, it talks about the benefits of having one. And the last page is a yellow page. This one here, some of the things we talked about tonight you might find you want more uh, information on. If you do, put your name, address, contact information, and I'll be glad to uh, contact you, whether it be for Bob or for me. Uh, so let's, let's, without further ado, let's start off with first the legal aspects. And I'm going to introduce Bob. Thank you, John, and good evening. Uh, it's a pleasure to be with you. When I was driving up from Cincinnati, I thought to myself, why am I doing this? You can imagine it's a, this time of night coming out of Cincinnati. It's pretty working so. But I'm here because the things that I have to talk to you about are things I'm really passionate about and I love to talk about because it's such a new age in many respects in terms of the things that we're doing. So if I can convey some of my excitement to you, we'll have fun here. And I am happy to be interrupted with questions. So if I say something and I'm off the mark or something, please ask the question because if you have a question, probably 10 other people in here do. So I'm going to first start out with, with a curveball for you, and that is how many of you own Bitcoin or some other type of cryptocurrency? Show of hands. A few of you. The place I'm headed with this is, is at some point you all are going to be involved with a process of where you're going to tokenize rental income and have something out on the blockchain that is represented by tokens. I just giving you a heads up on this. I'm working on this in Cincinnati, and if any of you have any interest in what this is about and how this could apply to your business, you know, let me know when I can try to get you hooked up with the right people. But this is part of where the world is headed, and so it's a very exciting opportunity. Now, you each have a book. John didn't say this, but I was once introduced to somebody who had written eight books. I stood up and I said, no, I've not written eight books. I've written five books. It's eight books I've sold. <laughs> so that's why you all have a free book tonight. Now, one of the things that's happened that is very exciting 